My coverage of Computex 2019 is sponsored by Techware, providing affordable quality computer and gaming products. One of the things that do it for me with mechanical keyboards is just random stuff you don't expect. I was looking around the Royal Clutch booth filming all their keyboards and then I spot this on the wall and legit asked, is this real, is this legit? And he said yes and took me to this thing, the RK825. A thing that absolutely no one asked for, but man do I love it. The keyboard itself, like the build, plastic enclosure, keycaps and all that is nothing to write home about, but what even, it's a keyboard with a handle. And it results in this absolute mess of a layout, like there's no way you're replacing these keycaps properly, and that's disregarding the edgy rounded corners. But yeah, we basically have a 60% below the handle hole, except that it has a packed bottom row and 1.5U right shift, I think. But then we have our F keys on the left hand side at the top, our nav keys in the center at the top, plus some MIDI controls, and then a numpad on the right, giving us a total of 118 keys, which is a good amount more than the typical 104 or 108 full size board. It's nearly tall enough to be two 60% keyboards being just one row short, but being serious, it is pretty cool to have all those keys on top while still maintaining a 60% length. So you still gain the lateral space saving and ergonomic benefits of that. The handle is the eye-catching part though. Not sure of its practicality and it is pretty thick, but I still love it. Although writing this script and thinking about it, I didn't even ask what or why. I'm purely just assuming it is what I think. It also will have Bluetooth capabilities, RGB backlighting, and will be available in a range of key switches. But yeah, it's pretty much that novelty that's carrying it, but that's what I love about it, and it's probably the keyboard that made me smile the most at Computex. Their other boards were pretty nice as well. The 600 series were some really nice and simple boards with clean design and aluminium enclosures. They really remind me of the Xiaomi Yumi MK02 with the rounded corners, but the full size and TKL had these curvy bases, while the other one was a bit more edgy. The 65% or 70% I guess was another interesting one. It just adds another column for more nav keys which I like. This was also available in the plastic case version which I guess allows for Bluetooth as well. This absolute unit was another unique one and was huge. Ogo boards are pretty hot, I mean it's just like a TGR Alice but with a knob and a numpad and being split and many other things, never mind but yeah not really my thing but still pretty cool. Overall, it was a fun booth to visit, it had some unique stuff that I was stoked about, and yeah, as I said before, this is the mechanical keyboard that made me smile the most at Computex, because I do admire innovation and just something a bit different. Thanks again to Techware for sponsoring my Computex 2019 coverage, stay tuned because I have a heap more content coming out. 